On reports and other big companies threatening to leave Connecticut, a corporate spokesman is saying that rumors and speculation regarding the future of IBM's Connecticut facility are unfounded. But there is some strong evidence that someone at that company is trying to send a message to the governor and the General Assembly. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, is here now live to sort it all out. Mark? Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. The original source of this story is the longtime Republican state rep from Southbury, where IBM has a huge facility. Representative Arthur O'Neill is one of the most respected members of the General Assembly. A spokesman for IBM is denying it, but it appears that someone connected with the big company is attempting to send a message to the governor and the General Assembly. IBM has been very clear to me uh, through their representatives that the data processing tax, uh, computer tax, is going to be devastating to their competitive position here in Connecticut. A document circulating the Capitol purporting to be from an IBM lobbyist says, quote, implementing short-sighted tax policy could very well cut Connecticut off from economic growth by putting data-centric Connecticut businesses at a competitive disadvantage, close quote. The tripling of the 1% data tax is the same part of the budget that insurance giant Aetna complained about earlier in the month. Representative Art O'Neill represents Southbury, the town where the massive IBM complex is located. They've made it very clear to me that IBM would be seriously thinking about moving out of the state of Connecticut, moving its uh, operations to a more tax-friendly, more business-friendly state. O'Neill says such a move involving over a thousand employees would have a devastating impact on the town. Governor Malloy, who originally went along with the data tax hike to get other things he wanted in the budget, changed course and called for the idea to be scrapped after other companies complained and threatened. On day one, uh, uh, once the budget was passed, I said there needed to be changes. I've actually proposed what those changes need to look like. Uh, the data tax is absolutely one of those, and, uh, and I think there's consensus that that's going to be done. But just because there's consensus between the governor and the Democratic leadership of the General Assembly doesn't necessarily mean they can get the votes from the rank and file to pass this, especially from those who don't wish to make the spending cuts that would be necessary to pay for it. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.